right? Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Call Halayim Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakal Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, who taught us the truth. Honors and citations are also Siachim on the four corners of the earth, laboring in truth and sincerity, honesty and sound doctrine. And to the Akwathim and the children that believe on the name of the uh, Heavenly Father and the Son, whose the Father's name is Yahweh, and the um, Son's name is Yahweh Shai. Basically, man, I, I, I've been hearing this for like a day now. And um, I woke up this morning to it on the news, talking about this guy, uh, LeBron James, man, which he calls himself King James. So, you know, he, he uh, basically he, he's mocking the Bible, man. Which um, um he's an Israelite, and um that that book applies to him. But you know you get these actors and and basketball players and uh, movie stars that think that you know once they um you know get into Hollywood or or, or get into the NBA or whatever that they made it that they're in the kingdom, man. You know why? Because they 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 uh bump rub, rubbing shoulders with their enemies, man. You know, and that, that's what they want to be like. They want to be like the enemy, the so-called white man, you know? So, um, I'm going to just read a little bit of this article, man. As a matter of fact, I'm going gonna, gonna to name this video, uh, The Curses Apply to You Too, LeBron James, you know? Because, like, you you just all around. Then then, then the name of his school is the I Promise School, you know? When um, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh gave us the promise, we the chosen the promise, man. So everything you're doing... Is 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 you going you going off, man? But um, this the I'm gonna just read a little bit of this article. It says uh, Melana 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 Trump praises LeBron James after President uh, Trump took a shot at him on Twitter, but the First Lady is not taking sides. See that right there, man? They they nothing to be known, man. In the escalating war of words between a basketball legend and her husband, a senior White House official. Though, though a spokeswoman Saturday, through a spokeswoman Saturday, Melana Trump said James was working to, to do good things on behalf of our next generation. So look, you're doing you you looking to do good things on behalf of what the next generation, not on the on not on the behalf of Yahweh by Shah, man. All right, so so that's where you, you you messed up first and foremost. Plus, you you know you with that black bullet, and you and you took that money from me, so man, you know. So now it's like you try and buck up against them, they're going to put your black ass in your place, man. All right, it says, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to hop down so much. I don't want to read all this, man. All right, it says, the president also got a final dig at James saying, I like Mike, a reference to all-time great Chicago Bulls, Chicago Bulls guard Michael Jordan, which Michael Jordan now, the reason why um, Trump said that he liked Mike because look, Michael Jordan, which he's another uh, 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 demon, a black ass bald head demon, you know. This dude, he um, it's a lot of This dude, he um, he he invested his money in into prisons, man. You know, to hold you niggas captive. The same ones that go around buying his sneakers. That 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 um, he he has sweatshops over there in in, in our China. So them sneakers that 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 uh, that be getting made probably cost a couple a couple cents, a dollar of that. And what they do, they bring them over here to America and, and charge you two hundred, three hundred dollars, man. So he's a wicked ass nigga, and Trump and Trump knows that. You know he he's oppressing his people. That's why Trump said, "I like Mike, man." You know. And um, well, only thing I can say about LeBron James, you 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 uh you, you got a school, you know, you try to open the open the school for the for the I guess you could say the uh, less fortunate kids, but you trying to you and then you going to auction off your sneakers, and you say the proceeds going to go to the school, all right, and um, uh, you know um. No, oh, oh, and you're going to give all the kids free lunches, uh, free bites and all that. Esau don't like that. So when you got into that, uh, when you took that money and signed those contracts to, to, to play professional ball, 
you basically signed alliance with Esau, man. So you have to do what he said. You know? Now I see you got a beard on your face, so it seems like you're waking up. But who knows, man? That's not my car. That's up to you. How about you see me outside? But, um, I'm going to grab a couple of scriptures, man, and I'm going to end it because I don't want to stay on this topic too long, man. Because, you know, this, this dude, he, you know, just, I, I'm just doing this just to prove a point to brothers, man. That hopefully it edifies who it has to edify, man. Um, I'm going to go right to the book of Deuteronomy. And I'm going to jump around with the curses, man. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. And I'm going to start at verse uh, uh, 37. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 37. It says, And thou shalt be, be in a, be, become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether the Yahweh Bashimia Washah shall lead thee, man. So what's an astonishment, man? It's Shema. Shema in the Hebrew, which is a waste, a horror, a pelment, a waste, a land, a city, a pelment, a horror, man. All right, it says from uh, H. eighty seventy four, ruined by implication, constant, const, constant, consternation, astonishment, desolation, a waste, wrongful thing. So basically, Trump said that. What, what he said that, that uh, you got interviewed by the dumbest guy that made you look smart. You know, so you're an astonishment to that dude, man. You a proverb, and, and he, he he ain't said, you know, on, on Twitter, but he probably like, look at this nigga, think he's smart, man. You know, he he's trying to um uh uh put put a school together for these niggas, you know. And guess what? I guarantee you some uh, backlash and repercussions for that, man. You know, I'm gonna hop up to the uh, 2020 verse, still in Deuteronomy chapter 28. It says, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua shall send upon thee cursing. Vexation and rebuke and rebuke and all that thou settest thine hand unto for to do until thou be destroyed and until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doings whereby thou hast forsaken me. So guess what? You forsook you forsaken Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. So you putting your hands uh, 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 put the school together. But guess what? Yahweh Bashim Yahushua ain't with that man. So that school's gonna get destroyed uh, uh, ultimately, and this is uh the word uh, for for uh, uh, vexation. It's ma maha 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 ama salakin, but it says a tumult, confusion, disquieted, discomfort, discomfort, get discomfiture, uh, destruction, trouble, vex, vexation, tumult, confusion. Disturbance, turmoil, disquieted, panic, uh, discomfiture. And it says uh, from Strong's definition from H. 1949, it says confusion or uproar, destruction, discomfort, trouble, turmoil, vexation, vex, man. All right. So that's that's causing confusion in Esau's world, man. What you doing? All right. So that's a vexation, man. And they're and they not with that. So that's why, and you got Trump that came at you, and he's supposed to be the, the head of the country. So he's, he's the king of the country right now, man. Well, this ain't even a country. This is a corporation, man. All right? And wh what you're doing is, is wicked, man. All right? No matter how nobody looks at it, it's wicked. Why? Because you ain't open up. You ain't, you ain't teaching them children that they Israelites, man. You know? You ain't open up no... Well, as a matter of fact, and then you got them like Nate, the comfy. They open up churches and, and, and uh, 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 you know... Um, but they covered under that 501c3 charter, so they ain't teaching the truth either, man. So what you're doing is wickedness, man. I'm going to hop down to the 48th verse. It says, uh, Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which Yahweh by Yahweh shot, which Salak it. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shot, shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in one of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until thou until he have destroyed thee. So yeah, man. Even though you playing basketball, guess who you playing for? You playing for Esau. Alright, so 
the money that 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 you get, you you, you go to him for one of all things, man. For your food, for your clothing, for your shelter, for all that, man. You ain't you ain't making that money on your own, you know. You signed that contract, man. Just like the average guy now, you, you got to go to work. You want a loan you, you, for for a home? You gotta go to Esau, man. So you serving your enemies in one of all things, man. You know. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to uh, uh, verse 19. That's why I'm gonna jump around. And I ain't trying to be too long on this video, man. All right, it says uh, verse 19 says, "Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in." And cursed shall thou be when thou goest out. So yeah, cursed shall you be when you come up in this earth, and cursed shall you be when you go out, man. You know, and that's the same. That's the same thing for you, for you niggas. That's 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 in these uh, uh, entertainment business, man. Because the NBA ain't nothing but entertainment, man. You know, a lot of those games. I'm gonna say all them games is fixed, man. Because they know who going to win the uh, the the, the um, um, championships at the beginning of the season. And then they always have to have some type of drama between players all year, man. You know? So the elite set that shit up. Why? So you'll watch it. And it, and really, it's nothing but a distraction to distract you from what, what was really going on in the world. That's why I'm trying to make this video as fast as possible, man. You know? Because all this is is a, is a distraction from... Um, that's why they got Trump involved, LeBron involved. all And, and them niggas is working together, man. But like I said, uh, uh, LeBron, you know... You um, you just still under the curses, my man. You are Israelite and you live in, in Babylon, man. And furthermore, you're trying to cause confusion to keep the people's uh. And it ain't even basketball season. And this nigga's still in the news, man. It's fucking football season. You know, so you're gonna start hearing a lot about this football bullshit too, man. But uh, this is uh verse twenty-eight. It says uh. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart, man. All right? So guess what, man? You you smitten with blindness, man, madness. Matter of fact, look at the word madness. It basically just says madness, all right? From, from uh, Strong's definition from 876-96, it says craziness, furiously madness, man. So you out your goddamn mind, man. You crazy, man. First of all, to think that 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 uh, uh your enemy likes you, you know, it's a lot here. Cause Trump, Trump, let it be known, man, he don't like you niggas, man. He ain't, he ain't fronting. That's why I like that guy. Cause he's a devil. He be the devil that he's supposed to be, man. You know. Um, let's look at the word blindness, man. Basically, it's just blindness. So, so it ain't talking about physically blind, man. Cause these niggas is spiritually blind. Cause they they like they don't know who they are, man. All right, I'm gonna jump to verse 34. It says, uh, "So that thou shalt be mad for the sight of of thine eyes, which thou shalt see." So look, you was mad when you when you saw that uh, tweet that Trump said about you, man. That shit made you mad. All right, so th isn't that a part of the curses, man? You know? And I'm going to end it on this scripture, man. This is Sirach. It's one of my favorites, man. <laughs> this is out of the book of Sirach, chapter 12, verse uh, 10. It says, Never trust thine enemy, for like his iron rusted, so is his wickedness, man. So, uh, yeah, man. So you basically, you trusted your enemy when you got that contract, and you, you thinking that everything going to be cool. And guess what, man? You know them they them, them Edomites they got uh underground bunkers planned. They probably told y'all niggas or or, or 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 um let you buy a spot or whatever, making it seem like y'all going y'all they like when when shit hits the fan that um you know that that y'all gonna have a spot to go hide in them bunkers with Esau. No man, they played y'all niggas, man. And they still playing y'all niggas and y'all that and y'all that blind, man. You know? Why? Because you trust your enemy. The same way they did with the Indians, man. Signed all them treaties and they broke every every treaty. Every last one of them. So if they did that then, they're going to do it now because the scriptures tell you what was written aforetime as far as learning and far understanding, man. All right? 
And with that, man, I hope that this lesson was edifying, man. And uh, I hope it goes out to who, who's supposed to hear it, man. And until the next lesson, Shalom.